What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle for the next episode of Shadowrun Hong Kong. My name is Splattercat. Happy to have you here today as we hang out for a while and I think we're finally making that run to rescue Raymond. It's been a long journey to get here, but we finally arrived. Infiltrate Prosperity Tower to rescue Raymond Black Girl. Maybe? I'll probably just take my standard team. I like who we've got right now and I feel like this team goes really, really well with one another. Oh, you can't take anybody else. Cool. Requirements. Decker required. Well... I am that Decker. Hold on, can I change out? No, it'll let me do it next. I want cyberware, but some of the stuff we want to buy is so prohibitively expensive that I don't know if we'll get around to it. I hope we get a big cash bonus. A big ass cash bonus would be great. The walk to the MTR station is tense. Infiltrating the headquarters of a megacorp and locating Raymond Black will be a challenge enough. Extricating him from his mother's assist device before his memories are permanently altered is another thing altogether. You hop the MTR South Island line and roll noisily down the nearby island of Apple Chow, a dense forest of soaring skyscrapers in corporate greed. Among them, blending innocuously with its neighbors, stands Prosperity Tower. You open the door to the lobby and step inside, the headquarters of Sang Mechanical Services and its CEO, Josephine Sang. There we go. Let's bring along some more good shit here. I would like to actually, let me bring the fetish on this one, just in case shit gets really out of hand. You never know. And I always feel like I don't have enough summons, so that'll be good. Maybe give her a med kit. Everybody else is looking pretty solid. I'll probably bring an extra med kit just in case for in-between patch-ups. Because oftentimes you have a little bit of a rest or a lull in between engagements, so off we go. The decadence of Sang's administrative lobby is the first thing to hit you. The mood lighting, designer wallpaper, and the scent of burning lavender and scents all blur together into a foreign landscape. It feels more dangerous than the rotting alleys of Hong Kong. Even the plants seem to condescend to you in their hand-carved limestone pots. Across the room from you stands a receptionist, three guards at her back. She seems unaware of, or at least indifferent to, your presence. But the guards behind her lock eyes onto you and adjust their postures. Regardless, it appears to be a routine response as the guard on the far right lifts a hand to his face and lets loose a long, loud yawn. Security may look light, but we're not in yet. Where it is, it'll only get us, or our words will only get us so far. Things are bound to get heated eventually. Just be prepared to cover your ass when the bullets fly. We've got a lot of ground to get past before we can get to Raymond. Gobbit points her thumb toward Duncan, what Gun Show said. According to Kindly, we can find information on Raymond's location in the security stations. It'll be tricky getting into him, but once we do, it's also where we can cut the alarm system. And remember, we need some impressive decking to get Raymond out of here. She holds up the Sang security passes. We also can't rely solely on these. They'll help us, but using them alongside our own wits will get us farther. Okay. Lovely lady in that little suit. How are you doing today? Come talk to me. The receptionist watches you make your way across the lobby. She studies you from head to toe, a barely concealed look of disgust on her face. Welcome to Sang Mechanical Services. How can I be of service? Her forced pleasantry reeks of condescension. We're here for a delivery? She eyes you, unblinking, in blatant disbelief. Is that right? And who is the delivery for? No one, actually. I know how I may appear, but I'm required to go incognito for our quarterly inspection. She winks back. I understand. Just head for the elevators. I won't say anything. Mission's going well? We're getting winked at by pretty girls and stuff already? Man... What a mission. That is a huge orc right there. He's a big bastard. He might even be a troll. Okay, so once the elevator on the elevator is a large panel covered in buttons, a keypad is mounted beside it. The buttons are left unlabeled, but you know from the plastic face man's data which floors have security stations. Let's go to sales and acquisitions. A timid woman looks at you from her station. Excuse me, sir. The saying employees on this floor may only be seen through a pre-approved appointment. Do you... Do you have an appointment? I didn't realize that. I'll make an appointment and come back another time. Okay, so this floor is not looking good. Kind of have a look around here. Let's go to the sub-basement first. Yeah, you see him flicker right there? When the map opens, I think it starts in combat and then it resets itself real fast. Because he had that red tinge that bad guys get. Oh no, he just did it again right there. Weird. But 
The guard's brow furrows at your approach. He looks giddy or maybe antsy as he flexes the hand closest to his handgun. Halt. This area is off limits. Only select personnel are allowed in here. You have identification? Show him you're saying security passes. You're in my way. He peers at the passes, suspicious. Exactly where do these passes grant you access? Okay guys, so here's the plan. I've tried every dialogue option on every floor and they're all automatic fail unless you have charisma. So, that means that I have to pick the point from which we can attack the easiest. Which I think is from here. I think I'm going to initiate combat first though. Oh look at that, he ducks into cover. Gee, look at that, he gets freebie cover automatically even though he's facing the other way and doesn't see us coming. Well that sucks. Alright, well let's just set it off then because it'll start us off a little bit closer. And you'll forgive me, but I'm just gonna breeze through the dialogue real quick because honestly, I've been banging my head against this for a little while. It's not that... It's not that it's super hard, but it's definitely a challenging fight where things have to go sort of right. Or else it falls apart very, very quickly. So the ultimate goal is that once we start combat, we have three turns to get to this... Well, hold on a second. So we have three turns to get down to that little dot right there. And so... Once the alarms go down all the way to zero, we're going to have somebody in the matrix, and then on top of that, we're going to have like five guys coming out of the elevator per turn. And so we really, really, really need to focus on pushing our way out of this situation, because if we get trapped right here, we're going to be pincered in between the two forces that are coming straight at us, and it is not going to be tenable. It is going to be a situation that we are definitely going to lose. And so anyways, I think... Let's see here. We'll take a couple shots at the guard down there because I do think it's a wise idea. We're going to have to send the Decker down that way anyways. So he's going to have to run through the hallway over there in order to get to the isolated room. The other problem is that we have to get a key off one of the guards. And so doing this and having somebody in the Matrix by the time the alarm goes off can actually be a little bit tricky. Especially if you have a couple turns where you sit there and you just keep like missing over and over and over again. If that ends up happening, it can end up very easy to be in way over your head on this one. And this is like the easiest floor out of all of them. The, thaumaturg the thaumaturgical research floor, kind of difficult. This one's somewhere in the middle. And then I think the sales and acquisitions is probably... Well, maybe it's the easiest, I don't know. Yeah, so he's barely at half health right now. The next thing we need is to haste the Decker. Sounds like a shitty emo band name. Haste the Decker. I mean, they'd probably be badass. I don't know. Let's go ahead and... I mean, they do have a Shadowrun theme name. So there's 15 for the flank. We can probably get him on next turn. They're shooting my drone, which is a little weird. There you go. Send it back, bitch. Send it back. Okay, and so on this turn, it is paramount that we rush this thing. So we want to play Guy Chu's turn first. There's the kill. We need the key card. And then we put Guy Chu in cover right here, because there's another guard around the corner, I think. And I need line of sight on him, so there it is. The Decker. I think this is the room right here that you have to get into. So that's the door card reader right there. I could get to it right now, but damn, are we going to take a big hit. We may just have to risk it. Because we have to make this like right now. If we don't make this on this turn, we're in a little bit of trouble. We use the key card. That slides on open. And then this room, I think, should allow us access. On this side, we're just going to keep shooting. We just got to keep putting rounds on people. And so if we could put a lot of pain on some of these dudes, it would make me feel better about this combat. Not having 150 random people behind me while I'm trying to play. So there's some damage. This guy's going to point blank shotgun us, and Jesus, is it going to hurt. Yeah. But it's our only option if we want to make that alarm by the end of this... So I need you jacked in right now. I don't even know if it's possible for you to stop the alarm. That's the big thing is that I've played this about 30 times now. And this is the first time I've ever made it before the alarm window went down. And even so, you see, we played that perfectly. Everything went exactly according to plan. And it still came out weird, so I don't know. What the hell was that? 
Okay, I didn't click, but I don't know why you just did that. What the shit? Oh man, this game cheating at PlayStation right now. Okay. I'm not sure why he moved out of cover right there, but I guess that's my life. Let's get away from that door right there, because I don't want to deal with it when the alarm goes off next turn. Okay, so we're in the Matrix. Watching for an opening. Right there is looking pretty prime. You follow him around and just kind of see where he goes. Which is in fact what I think I'm going to do. Let's go ahead and follow that. Let's be very quick about this. That goes to the core. Which I think is what we're looking for. Security node through here. Yep. And I think whatever we do right here, it really doesn't matter. We just need this, so the alert lockout is engaged. So maybe I have to kill off all these right here. Alright, well we're going to have one turn of alarm and there's nothing we could do about that. Maybe I have to get rid of these little assholes first. Seems vaguely possible. Okay, so there's the alarm, which means we get the hell away from the door. That's all that matters for right now. We get as far away from the door as we possibly can. With Gaichu... Give me a kill here, man. Give me a kill. I can't have this on my flank right now. Shit. Okay. Well, you got a kill, buddy. Please kill him. There it is. Okay. So we got the kill. I'm going to have her flip back that way and just kind of hope that bad things don't happen. But for right now, we just got to watch this way. That actually went about as perfectly as it possibly could, so... Take from that what you will, but this mission is gnarly. Like, really, really gnarly. Zero, absolute zero. Room for error. Let's go with Blaster. Flank damage right there. Go for a kill. Go for a kill. And then the White Sentry over here. I need him to go as well. And it used to play out two turns at a time in the Matrix, but I don't know if it does that. Okay, it does. So he's in heavy cover, which means that, like... I was going to say, I'm pretty sure we can't get that blocker ice yet. But the longer I let this happen, the gnarly our life becomes, or the gnarlier our life becomes. Bunch of misses right there, unfortunately. Big old grip of misses. Luckily, I'm in an okay position. I mean, I really just need this thing to die, though. There it is. So we got to hack the blocker ice. Nine, eight, one, five. Nine, two, five, six. All right, so we got a T at the end. M and an arrow, arrow. It's maybe that one. Shit. Come on. We got this. Second M little thing. Got it. I will say this. For all its difficulty, it is tense. Okay, so we hack security. You hack the node and the vulnerable network is quickly infected by spoof programs. Within a matter of seconds, the program spread across the system, sending false security alarms throughout Sang. The security network is becoming less and less stable. More guards pick up the summons to locate each alarm's origin, but they continue to find only dead ends. Okay, I'm going to leave him in the matrix for right now because there's probably something else we can dig out of this place. 
we do have secondary objectives after all. We are now even with that other runner team, so we can't count on them doing anything. We also have not dealt with what's-her-name yet, so that one lady that we strong-armed, haven't dealt with her just yet, so that'll be an issue for later as well. How much does that get rid of? 50? Good. Wanted to make sure I hadn't wasted it yet. There's 150 right there. Oh, really? That's black ice? Okay, so that's bad. Don't mess with black ice. Black Ice is hardcore, so Black Ice actually attacks the Decker's physical connection with the Matrix, which means that when you get hit by damage from Black Ice, it actually hurts your physical character. Like, you remember what happened at the beginning of Dragonfall? That's basically what happens to you if Black Ice finishes off your HP inside the Matrix. It's kind of like the Matrix with Neo. If you die in the Matrix, you die for real, but only if it's to Black Ice. There are other limited programs that'll do similar things to Black Ice, but in general... And considering our health is already at half, we really don't want to deal with black ice right now. I'm going to go ahead and put him right here so that if anybody comes around... Really, line of sight is blocked from right there, huh? Okay, we'll get him behind those barrels then. Guy Chu, let's get you back in over here. We are going to have a couple of enemies to fight. And we are done here, by the way. Like, all we have to do now is get whatever we need out of the Matrix and then bail. That part frustrated me. I've been banging my head against it, like, for a while. Because unless you get the perfect result, really, if the alarm goes off, you have some really, really serious goddamn issues. And so we only had one turn of alarm. I think that means we should have two or three guys up and in here. But other than that, we should be okay, maybe? Go ahead and accuracy buff yourself since your accuracy sucks. Yeah, I was going to say, her accuracy has been pretty goddamn bad the entire game. So I don't know where he... Okay, so there's a ton of guards in here. Oh, and they're still flooding in. So maybe it's not even linked to the alarm. Maybe it's just like how many people... Maybe it's just people you have to fight. I don't know. Shit. Bad luck, thy name is... Uh, Shadow Run. Okay, so from right here, I'm going to run to here. We're gonna take the shot. We've got B3 secure data node. Let's go in. We're gonna hack the blocker rice. I always do the first two steps. One, four, one, six. Seven, nine, two, seven. Nine, two, seven. Okay. Got a W. A T in the front with a W right there. It could be that one. Come on, give it to me here. So we got that thing in the front, we got a W on the back. There it is. I mean, that was just a guess based on two of the things that we located, but it's good enough for me. Secure data store. Internal announcement saying security increased. The same company has increased its security measures in a company-wide movement to protect its investments. Sang's actions on this matter are to remain company knowledge only. Any mention or leak of this information will not be tolerated. Employees found guilty of divulging said information to outside parties will be blacklisted and purged from Sang Mechanical Services. Security protocols will double throughout Sang proper. In the case of the Laboratory 12, security will be enhanced threefold for optimum protection. Those who work in Laboratory 12 will be upgraded to Omega level clearance. Admittance to the laboratory will be heavily monitored, and all visitors must have Omega clearance or higher with critical business in the area. The captain of this station has pre-approved a limited release Laboratory 12's elevator code to Omega personnel. The receipt of this message is proof of your authorization. Warning, this information is highly sensitive and should remain restricted to Omega Plus knowledge only. Violators will experience aforementioned blacklisting. So, does that mean we now have security clearance? Because that'd be great. Read the thread. So, after a quick scan of the data store, two message threads stand out. One about the locker room and one second about a first aid station. Apparently, those dicks over at maintenance have been tossing their crappy broken gear into the first aid room, so I changed the door code. It's now 4990. Maintenance. Did you assess to change the locker code again? Sure did, but only because your department forgot to do it. I don't need your sass. I need the damn locker code. 2626. You're welcome. So we should be up and out of here right now. No dump shock, no nothing. He's got enough AP to get him back into combat, but given how bad his A... Actually, no. We've got room. Let's get over here. And then what we'll do is we'll have Gobbit heal him because he took 20 something damage on his last turn so there's the 15 that'll put him back up to full which is spectacular from there let's go ahead and I'm going to increase your accuracy and then I'll just take a shot at this guy 
So I need flank shots right now. If you got him, flaunt him. 19 damage right there. This guy also has very, very little armor, which means that I want him to die right now. Right now, now. And so there goes the mage. Killing the mage is always the best plan in this game. If you can kill a mage, it usually leaves you in pretty solid standing to finish the rest of things. So what stance do I want him in? Let's do metal stance. Since he's going to be flanked and out of cover, we'll go for everything that he has right now. And then at the enemy he goes, hopefully to disable them. He can't do coup de grace for three turns for some reason. Yeah, he can. Can he? Oh, not enough AP. Okay, so I need two AP to do that. Well, shitty balls. We'll go Heavenly Stance then, and we'll go in on him right there. He is going to take some damage though, so hope for no crits. Apparently he can fire through his own character to hit me. I always thought the characters acted as line of sight in this game, but what did I learn today? Alright, he took 11. So that means that Gobbit, she can't cast her heal just yet. But what she can do, if I can get Gaichu out, there's the kill. Do you have to move to get him? Yeah, you do. So there's a big hit too. And there's another big hit. My god. This dude just laying into people right now. I've got a chance for a hit right here, but it's not much. Fire off a couple of rounds to get him knocked out. Not going to bring out the drone right... Well, let's do it. Why not? Let's bring out Joni. Joni the Droney! Go ahead and take that flanking position right there inside. Because as I told you all, corners are death in this game. Don't mess with them corners. Ain't got much over here, so I basically just have to open fire. Let's go ahead and help him out a little bit with accuracy. Not else. Oh my god, not much else I can do here either. I can go with channeled haste on. Yeah, use it on Gaichu, actually. That sounds good. Let's make him into just a wrecking ball this turn. That's another 16. Gaichu's over here just making dudes look foolish. Man, we are super deep. A little bit of... Eh. Okay, so there's a 12er right there. Not a lot of flanking options. Gaichu needs the kill, like, right now. And then what I'll do with him with his final AP is we'll throw him in Regenerate. And then I would like to get him down to there, but I don't think it's going to work like that. I'm going to shift him. Ooh, I don't know if more people are coming through the security. We'll find out, I guess. Just spray and pray. Nah, that's about what I figured. Joni the Droney, you want to get us with a Hail Mary here? No? All right, then. I think he should be our last engagement. Our randos running through the battlefield here trying to get the hell out the way. Just keep shooting. Just keep shooting. Oh, yeah. He's got mercy kill. Down he goes. Solve that combat nice and clean. Doesn't leave us with a ton of options around here, and I think we are going to have to do some healing. What a nasty, nasty little segment. Man, that segment's harsh if you don't have... If you don't got charisma, that part's pretty rough. Guy Chew here, medkit up. That did not help hardly at all. Oof. All right. Well, let's keep trucking. I think we have Omega security clearance now. I'm not, like, totally sure about it, but... The door is locked and protected by a keypad. Was this the 2626 one? No. Was it the other one? What was the other one? Oh, it was 2627. Okay. Locker opens with a faint click. Inside her shrink wrap saying maintenance uniforms. So I think we picked the right choice here. I'm going to go on record and say that at least the basement had benefits. The rest of your team begrudgingly rifles through the locker, picking out uniforms closest to their size. One by one, they button up, and soon a hodgepodge of frumpy maintenance workers stand before you. Well, tight in the arms, but great in the hips. I could really tear up a dance floor with this. She swivels her hips and spins on her heel. She comes back around, grabs her chin, and strikes a pose. This is the pose that I will use to win the hearts. 
She straightens up and pats the uniform. Hope Sang doesn't mind if I, uh, keep this. <laughs> if you got the booty for it. If you got the booty for it. You know, I lost track of time on this episode. It's, it happens to me pretty frequently. I apologize. If this ends up being long, good for you guys to get freebies. If it ends up being short, I apologize. But I'm going to try and figure out where my bearings are. I think we did okay. I'm going to see you all next time. Hi do, everybody.